Well, how do there, chums? Tis I, Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, are going to be talking about a light no fire, or should I call it light no flame? That's what it was going to be called at one stage, as well as other things. Let's jump on in. Let me show you what I'm on about, people inside the view of us. So this is concept artwork created by Jeff Han Design. Yeah, she can go follow him over on Instagram. Very interesting stuff. Anyway. Right, let's, let's hit on up this animation then. Let's hit play on this. Now, I've slowed this right down. And there's going to be times where I'm going to pause it and have a better look at a couple of them. I mean, I quite like that initial font. It had all the wavy lines that almost looked like it was on fire. But then you're going to see quite a lot inside of here that actually shows some sword sort of looking emblems. Like that one. I mean, that's clearly a sword rather than a torch. But what has a sword got to do with fire or lighting anything? Not too much unless it's a flaming sword. I mean, a lot of the swords that we have seen have got some sort of magical sort of imbuements on them. But now we're seeing the more torchy stuff and the more sort of fire-esque type stuff going on here, which is a little bit more in keeping. We are seeing quite a lot of sort of serif sand type fonts that have got these sort of like little divots on them, as well as these sort of squared off sort of fonts as well. Now, in my opinion, the ones that sort of interlink and sort of weave together are more flame-like, or the ones that have got traily sort of patterns on them i mean sound up in the comments let me know what you think have you got a favorite amongst all of these but there are quite a lot that i would like okay that could have been a good logo like that one that would have made a fairly good logo there this sort of double vision one and no thank you very much sir heck no but there's also another theme that i'm seeing which is a crown so i'm wondering whether there might be some sort of royal connection is there some sort of royal bloods or royal family in this game that oversee the lands that we're going to be in there's a few icons that have popped up here that have been more Atlas inspired. So if they did want to make that connotation and that connection from No Man's Sky to Light No Fire, there's quite a lot of designs here that they could have used that would have done that, but they've chose not to in a roundabout way, although the logo they have chose does look like it's some sort of crumbling Atlas. And inside of the Echoes artwork, you actually see a crumbling Atlas in the background. So I am wondering whether there might be that connection or whether they've just thrown that in there or whether it was just sheer freaking coincidence again sound up in the comments and let us know there people inside the view of us i mean that one looked very sort of atlas like didn't it that just popped up there for a brief moment but yeah i like these ones with the wavy davy bits on and i'm liking the flame pattern i kind of feel that their that icon itself doesn't really well, it does look like a torch doesn't it i mean that one looked very 80s retro us that red and green one didn't it but the swords i can see why they dropped those but here's here comes one of my favorites now i just paused it a little bit too early there but yeah that one looks a bit religious light no flame look at that look at that so it wasn't just going to be called light no fire they were toying with light no flame at one stage interesting interesting thought provoking that's the one i like i really like this one it looks like it's the atlas and i love that swirl around it I really think that could have worked well as a logo. If I had to choose a favourite, I think out of all of them, that's probably my favourite, people. And again, it says Light No Flame. I even quite like that font, to be honest. It'd be nice if it sort of like came up and done some wavy davy bits on probably the A just there. Whew. That would have been quite nice. And maybe if they put a dot on the eye and sort of wisp that up as well. That would have been pretty darn freaking lovely and nice, I think, people. Anyway, we're not even halfway through all of these. These ones look a bit more Star Wars-esque, don't they? They almost look like the Empire or new sorts of designs for TIE Fighter. That one's quite nice. I like that one. But they are, that one definitely looks like a TIE Fighter. That looks more reminiscent of what we have now. The Crescent Moon one's quite nice. Again, these are getting more into what we actually see as the finalised piece with the whole sort of red structure above some sort of other structure but some of these look like chess pieces as well don't they and again that sort of calls on that sort of royal s type thing because you've got a king you've got a queen you've got your bishops and all that sort of shenanigans i'm wondering whether there's going to be connotations of chess inside of this game in a roundabout way in the way that we might get lots of missions and you've got to do this to do that and this is going to work better than that that sort of stuff where you've got to use your noggin you've got to use your gray matter perhaps i'm wondering if there's going to be a larger puzzle element 
element to this game. The trouble is, we don't know what the brief was that was given to these artists to create these images. What was the brief exactly? This is what we've got for No Man's Sky. We want something like it, but it's going to be called Light No Something. Who freaking knows? You can only but guess what the brief may have been, but looking at quite a lot of these, some of these look like they could have been quite early conceptual arts, and a lot of them sort of give nods to the 80s and 90s. If you look at sort of like album covers from, from yesteryear, from those sort of... Oh, look, did you see that? That one there. One second. Light No Fire. Light No Fire. There was one that popped up. Light no more. Light no more. Seriously. Mm hmm. Into the darkness we go. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, that's 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 an oddity, isn't it? But a lot of these, yeah, like I was saying, they almost look like album covers of yesteryear. They look like, like band names and sort of icons for freaking music videos and stuff. Really has got that eighties vibe. Excuse me. Ah, oh, that that looks cool. Very awesome. I like some of these geometric ones quite a lot, but I just don't think they would translate well onto a game cover. And that, that's that's cool. I kind of like that sort of embossed sort of 3D text that I've done here. And the way that they've sort of linked the light together and stuff like that, you can sort of see where the actual text has actually evolved from, because we still got that now. I mean, these look just like chess pieces. They really do. I hope we get some structure that sort of resembles some of this inside of game. I mean, it looks like they've now settled on the text and they're getting closer to the logo with their fingers being separated there, the person standing on the thumb. I'm hoping we see some of this inside the game. I mean, how cool would it be to come across something like that on the actual world? So you're in this sort of medieval sort of world and then you come across something, some sort of monolith that looks out of place like this. Yeah. I'm hoping we see something like that inside a game. We can only, but I mean, we don't know whether they were given some concept art to base some of these logos on. There could be structures like that somewhere inside of this game. And that one really did look like the Nexus in the hand there. But yeah, that, that's getting close to what we have now as well. You know, you can see how this evolved into what we have now. And you can see that they really did put in a lot of effort into this piece of art. Now, when I first left college, I used to work for a promotional company doing sort of logo designs. And I used to lay out sheets and sheets and sheets of logos for different companies when they were first starting off. But we're talking maybe, what, 15 designs per sheet. And I probably do about five sheets. And that, that's what they would choose from, from their logo. Sometimes too much choice can sort of over overwhelm people and apparently they've done 300 of these artistic mock-ups for Hello Games. Now I always thought Hello Games did also all of their sort of artwork in-house and what we've learned from this is no they didn't actually come up with this piece of art themselves it was actually done by Jeff Hand and his team over at Elastic. Now we've also learned that the patch notes that go up on websites for Hello Games are done by another company also so they do farm out quite a lot of stuff when it comes to their actual art which I was surprised about, being that they've got such an awesome team of artists. I mean, Bo Lam being freaking awesome and legendary amongst artists, in my opinion. And also you've got Grant Duncan, another fantastic artist. A lot of the concept art that you see on the front of the covers that make it onto the game covers for No Man's Sky are probably either or of them, you know? And uh, yeah, anyways, that's pretty much everything I've got for you. I know it was quite a lot of logos to take in there, and you've probably got different takes to me. I mean, you can see the final rendition of what appeared to be in the background here. The actual text, you can see how that sort of evolved, which I think is quite nice, and also the logo, which is like a torch, you know, and a hand holding up the light, which I think is quite apt, since the Atlas was holding up the world, you know, as in the Greek mythology, and the Atlas plays a prominent part inside the No Man's Sky. So again, I'm seeing these sort of connections and connotations to No Man's Sky inside of Light No Fire, even if it is very light when it comes to connotation and link. But I am wondering whether we might see some of the characters that we know inside of No Man's Sky transition into Light No Fire. It's like, are we going to see Hesperus or Gemini make an appearance inside of the actual lore, or even Artemis for that question? Yeah, so there's a lot of speculation going around with, is this a layered simulation? Is this a simulation after the Atlas? Or is it the simulation before the Atlas? Or is this the Atlas before it degraded and fell apart? Or is this something completely different? But I don't suppose we're going to know the answers to those questions until the actual game drops or 
I mean, a lot of people are thinking that the game is going to drop early part of 2024. So for those people, you know, maybe you haven't got long to wait if you're in that sort of line. However, I'm thinking this is going to be out in 2025. The reason I'm saying that is I think that Shaun of the Murrays and Hello Games want to do a few more press drops as yet. Build up a bit more hype, maybe do a few more sort of promoted pushes for this. Do a couple more trailers. For No Man's Sky, we got the four pillars trailers, you know, fight, survive, trade, etc, etc. They put all that out first and they built the hype for the game massively and we actually knew a little bit more about what No Man's Sky was, what the objective was and what the whole game was about. Like No Fire, we haven't quite got that yet. We understand that it's a massive open earth type size world and we're going to be traversing that in a number of ways, usually on mounts like dragons or birds. But we haven't really understood why. Why are we on this earth? Why are we traversing this earth? Why have we got to build bases and all that sort of shenanigans? We don't even know to what extent the survival element of this game is. Are we going to have to feed ourselves, water ourselves, all that sort of shenanigans? And who is the antagonist? Is there a bad guy? We know we're not the hero. We know that much from the Steam page. Anyway, I'm watching the Steam pages like a hawk. There's not really been too much of an update there other than the language set. So, yeah, we're not seeing any sort of release date or actual platformers yet. I think the time to get excited is when this gets given an age certificate rating and when we see any of those things happen, like it gets given a, a, a release date or a price or even the bundles and what platforms it's going to be on. When we see any of those things happen, that's when I'm going to start getting a little bit more excited. There's no signs of any of that happening right now. I don't think it's on the table to happen within, say, the next three to six months. I could be wrong, okay? Anyway, people, until next time, thank you for watching. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.